In this presentation, we're going to look at an AEL add-on which provides three-dimensional wire bond length reporting ADS e-bond element. Share my desktop. Now, I assume if you're watching this that you already know what an ADS e-bond element is, but we'll do a little summary here just the same. These yellow items in this layout are e-bond elements. We'll switch to the 3D view and we'll see that they have a full three-dimensional shape. They're attaching a, a, a die to uh, the multi-chip module below it. Now, the, the contours of this shape are actually defined by a shape component back in the ADS schematic or perhaps all the way back in the default page of a design kit. And there are a variety of different shapes, and these shapes are driven by parameters. Um, the last thing, though, that, that is not captured in, in the shape is the actual X1, Y1 to X2, Y2. That's determined in the layout. What's missing from, from any of this, though, is the full three-dimensional length of the wire. We have an 8YL command which will return that for you, but it returns it in a very complex data structure, which I wouldn't expect the average user to want to try to parse and understand. So what's been captured in this 8YL add-on is the ability to report the 3D bond wire lengths for all of the e-bond elements in the current layout, or if we want to just look at specific selected objects. We can ask it to show us just those selected objects. So that's all it does, but it does it quickly and efficiently. Last menu pick just tells you about this add-on, a little bit of description of how it works, and what to do if you would like to it. So that's it for the, the add-on itself, what it does, how it works. Now let's talk about how you install it. It comes as a zip file. The zip file unpacks to look like this, a directory named eBond add-on with a series of AEL and ATF files. We're going to have to uninstall it now so I can show you how to install it. So this is done through the Tools Apps Manager dialog. I'm going to remove it. We'll shut down ADS so that it's gone. I'll open up a schematic or open up a layout here and show you that that eBond menu cascade is no longer there. We've uninstalled it. We'll go a little, a little more slowly this time so that you can see the installation process. So again, somewhere in your directory structure, you will have an eBond add-on directory with these files in it. We're going to go to Tools, Apps Manager. We're going to go to Add User ADS Add-on. The ones above are built into ADS. The ones below this are things that you would add yourself. We will browse into that directory, and we're looking for a file with the word boot in the name. That's the naming convention we have for the startup file for the rest of the AEL add-on. This file simply has uh, retrieves the runtime location of the add-on and then loads all the other files. So we'll choose that file, and we need to set a name for the AEL add-on. This is a way in which AEL add-ons are different from design kits. Design kits know their own names and provide that for you. An add-on doesn't, so you should make this something sensible. I think that looks good. And we need to check the enable at ADS startup. Having done this, we've put a recording or a record in your home directory under the ESOF, HP ESOF directory that we want this add-on available to us at all times. To shut down ADS one more time. We'll bring it back up. And the way you know that your installation was successful, you'll go to an ADS layout, you'll find the eBind menu cascade with the three menu picks. If the menu picks are there, the underlying code is there. Now you may ask, uh, what version of ADS does this work on? Any version of ADS that uses the open access database. So that would start at ADS 2011, all the way up through ADS 2020 update two, which is what I'm using now. Next question you might ask is, how do you get your hands on this software? And it is available on our Knowledge Center. So I'll bring the Knowledge Center over here. Um, if you're an ADS user, you have access to the Knowledge Center. You can pause the, uh, the recording if you want and grab the URL of there if you haven't been there before. You'll need to log in. Any supported customer can have an account. And once you're in there, you just want to use the, key bond, the keyword eBond in the search. And you will look for the document called eBond reporting for AEL add-on. Under that document, 
you'll see the actual software itself and a presentation on just what I've shown you, the demonstration, and then how to install it and a little more detail. So all that's available to you via the Knowledge Center. I'll stop sharing my desktop here and just remind you that uh, this is me, this is my email address. Any feedback, you can get back to me directly. That concludes the presentation.